Hey guys, and welcome to another Kaiju Movie Differences video, a series where I go over differences between various versions of Kaiju films. Today's video is going to go over the first Mothra movie, released by Toho in Japan in the summer of 1961 and released by Columbia Pictures in the United States the following year. The interesting thing about Columbia Pictures is that they actually made a deal with Toho during the production of the film, and even gave advice and guidelines on certain parts of the movie, like changing the demise of the antagonist Nelson and having Mothra attack a western city. Despite their involvement, they still edited out around 10 minutes of footage from their release of the movie. So let's not waste any more time and dive in and see exactly what they changed from their release. The first difference, of course, is the distribution and title logos, as well as the written credits for the respective territory releases. Both are accompanied by music done by Yuji Kosaki, though it is worth noting that the score in the English version doesn't chime in until after the Columbia logo passes by, whereas it's already started when the Toho logo comes up. Speaking of, a notable hiccup in Columbia's credits has actor Jerry Ito, misspelled as Jelly Ito. And of course, director Ashiro Honda's name is written as Inishiro Honda, a common mistake often made in other movies he's credited in. After the credits, things are pretty much one for one for a while, but there are a few name changes worth going over real fast. The first of them being Mothra's home island. In the Japanese version, it's called Infant Island, while in the dub, it's called Beru Island. There is no logical reason for the name change, especially when you consider that future dubs have no problem using the name Infin Island. So, yeah. Another name, or in this case, nickname change, comes from the journalist Zenchiro. His nickname in the Japanese version is Snapping Turtle, while in the American version, they changed it to Bulldog. I guess to make it sound like he's got more bark for his bite. Another name change worth bringing up is the name of the carnivorous plants on Infant Island. They're referred to as blood-sucking plants in the Japanese version, and the more playful name of vampire plants for the English dub. Blood-sucking plant? Vampire plant? Some more audio differences come from the little mouse scene. The mouse is known as Chiro in the Japanese version, while it is not given any sort of name in the dub. Though it is worth noting that it's called a female in the US version, while in the Japanese version, it's a male. Anyway, our first real cut comes from a cutaway from Dr. Chujo's house to a sign announcing the Infant Island Expedition. Since subtitles weren't going to be added in the original US release, along with the fact that the name Infant Island was changed, cutting this was a no-brainer. Another small cut from the US version comes from Zen's assistant, Michi Hanamura, who is taking a quick picture at the airport. While at the airport, it is worth noting that some dialogue in the Japanese version is spoken in English, not just here but throughout the entire picture. Despite that, the American version still dubs over all the dialogue, regardless on whether it's spoken in Japanese or English. Drop your pistol, you haven't got a chance. Drop that pistol, you haven't got a chance. When the expedition arrives on Infant Island, a POV shot from Zen walking through the forest is cut. A scene with Professor Chujo exploring around a cave is removed, as is another bit shortly after he enters the cave. When the expedition finally encounters the small beauties, the tiny twins are speaking to the group in their native language, which sounds like eerie music. The first half of this scene is cut down in the US version, with the dub adding gibberish to the fairy's speech. When the expedition make it back to Japan, a shot of the newspaper company's editor is skipped over in the US version. Also, there's a radio speaker's voice announcing the return of the crew that's only heard in the Japanese version. A superimposed newspaper's headline announcing Dr. Rock's return is removed from the US version. When Carl Nelson travels back to Infant Island, a few seconds of him walking around a grassy terrain at night are trimmed down in the US cut. When the main cast is allowed to visit the girls who are captured by Nelson, Chujo explains how he was the one they saved from the vampire plants. After telling them that, a shot of them talking once again in their language is removed from the US version. Shortly after, we see the natives of Infant Island where they are performing for Mothra to hatch. The scene is shortened down in the US version, with various shots being trimmed or cut out. A few moments in the Nito office are trimmed down in the American cut. When the girls are about to perform their second song, the US version cuts it short and focuses on Mothra ramming a ship. 
Speaking of this, the destruction scene is also slightly trimmed down in the US version, along with the newspaper shot telling of the events being removed completely from the US version. A jet pilot spotting Mothra has this scene shortened significantly in the US version, along with a few shots of Mothra itself. A small bit of the editor talking is removed from the US cut. After the scene where the characters are persuading Nelson to cover the fairy's telepathy, the moment transitions to a dam, with the Japanese version focusing on two workers chatting it up, while the English version just jumps right into the action. In a scene where Nelson's yelling at the girls to stop singing, the moment is cut short in the American version, with the girls continuing to sing and Nelson packing them up. A few newspaper headlines after Mothra's attack on the dam are cut from the US version. During Mothra's arrival on land, a shot of citizens evacuating, jets flying over the air, tanks setting up, and even a shot of Mothra herself are all removed from the US version. An entire moment of the city being evacuated is cut from the American version. This was done to keep the fight between the military and Mothra consistently going in the American version. However, doing so makes the battle randomly go into night midway through. After this moment, we see some more evacuation footage, which is kept in both versions. However, the US one soon trims a lot of it out, along with more scenes of tanks setting up and even another shot of Mothra being removed. There's a scene where a tank is setting up and Mothra crawls by and rams into a building, causing the debris to fall on the tank. Other than the tank being crushed, the entire moment is deleted in the US cut. More shots of military vehicles and fire trucks are removed from the US cut. After a brief moment with Nelson trying to escape, the following scenes are cut from the US version. A control room scene, a shot of the military setting up, a shot of the city, and a clip of a helicopter flying near Tokyo Tower. A moment with the characters getting ready to track Nelson, as well as a scene of Nelson himself, are removed from the US version. When we make it to next morning, the following scenes in a row are removed from the US version. Two shots of the heat cannon being transported, a shot of radio broadcasters, a shot of spectators, and a long and mid shot of the cocoon. Once Mothra gets to Relisiga and attacks it, there's quite a few shots that are removed from the American version. One is of a scene of people waiting for... the main cast? It's never made clear at this point that that's who they're waiting for. And ironically, the whole scene itself is in English. If we don't return to fairies quickly, Newkirk City will be destroyed! After that, we cut back to Mothra destroying Newkirk City, with some footage removed from the US version. A scene with priests praying to God is removed from the American cut. A moment with the characters walking through a crowd of people is cut. A shot with church bells ringing is shortened down in the US version. A small bit with Michi and Zen praying is cut from the US version. Right before the film ends, there's a small bit of narration heard only in the Japanese version. And finally, the end title cards are different in both cuts. So that was the differences between the American and Japanese versions of Mothra. The US version cuts down quite a bit of footage, even some with Mothra herself, which will definitely upset some people. But the scenes removed don't really hurt the story in any significant way, and do indeed make the pacing run smoother. The dialogue also wasn't really one for one in some parts, but overall those scenes got the same points across. The dub was also done by New York based Titra Sound Studios, and Mothra was one of the first films to give them on screen credit. The voice actors give these stereotypical Asian accents to all the characters, which I personally never cared for, but I do know people out there love them. But other than that and a few unintentional English phrasing, the dub is okay. It's just okay. Overall, while the American cut is paced better, the Japanese version definitely feels more lively and gives more expansion to the world. Sure, most of the cut footage doesn't mean much to the overall plot, but their inclusion does help bring some life to this universe. So in the end, I'd say watch the Japanese version. But if you're one of those people who don't like reading their way through a movie, then the American cut isn't that bad. Anyway, thank you all for watching towards the end, and I'll see you next time.